Hello. I'm gonna take this white right here. Just shove it in. And if you have any eye boogies, like right there, just rub it in even more. And it'll just smear it in, it's fine. It's just your own body secretion. You can use a brush for this too if, I don't know. Don't be jealous of my beauty. Don't be jealous of my beauty. So this is the brow bone highlight. I'm creating my highlight where, where I want where I want the light to refract from. The actual male brow bone is a little lower, and so I look like a caveman. So I make the white higher, and we're making a new point of hitting where the light goes. We're making a new point of refraction. And you shut up. <laughs> I know words, I know, th I know thing. And now I'm gonna put like some other shimmery shit over it. It's OCC something. I didn't cover my eyebrows because the white cream makeup pretty much covers it, and then I'm gonna put the shimmer over it and then also glitter. So it's like, you put enough shit on top of shit and it's a double negative, so it cancels it out and makes it good. A little bit in there. Uh, Ooh, sorry. sorry. Do I need to move everything for the photo? Okay. Don't worry about it. Oh my God. What did she say? Alyssa says she would see about the tickets and then Alyssa doesn't text the bitch back. That's the Alyssa's secret is she's a fucking bitch who doesn't text people back. That's the goddamn secret. You're welcome, World of Wonder. Cancel the show now. We found it out. Yeah, I like you. I love the House of Edwards. Please, please make me an Edwards baby. I'll sweep all your floors. I'll brush your wigs. I'll suck your man when you're out of town. Suck your, fuck your face. Give me your little skull fuck princess. That'd be nice. Little skull fuck princess. Okay. You want a bang? What kind of cologne you wear? Oh yeah. I don't wear cologne, but it would smell. It would smell good. My signature scent is balls. You're like, oh, she's coming. What's that? Balls. Burl. A lot of forehead. Sorry guys. We'll do a little PC Whiston. Welcome to the stage, ladies and gentlemen, your entertainer, PC Wispins. Oh, I'm sorry, are you being professional? Uh. You're gonna take a black pencil, tarred. You're gonna go the fuck in. Ow, fuck. Fuck it, I'm gonna take a fatter black pencil and go in. Shove it in the corner of your eye and then go up. Kind of like that, but don't. And if you make this side bigger, just make the other side bigger. There, that works kind of, right? I look like a Doors albino crackhead cousin. I'm gonna go in with this tinier one. Okay, let's move everything out. I got the black on. Uh. <laughs> Oof, woof. <laughs> yes, banging it out. It's brown, I call this Lupita because the color wore off, so I just call it Lupita. And I'm creating a new crease, like using that, my brow bone as that. I take it from caveman to crease. Smearing brown underneath. That looks even, I think. Okay. So that's my basic eye. She's creamed out. She's got shit on her. Um, now I'm gonna move on to the skin. I'm gonna touch this. This is that. Grandma cream color. And this is one of them beauty blenders. Okay, and the orange neutralizes the beard, apparently. Another way to cover your beard is to have dudes sit on your face. Tell my husband I said hello. Tell him to send a dick pic. I ain't seen it in a minute. Okay, that's pretty much where I have my beard. Put a little up, up on my top. From that to that, you know, just warming up that brown a little bit. So it's not brown white, it's brown pink white. Like a graduation. A gradient. Gradation? Something. So, uh, Good. Continuing on with the process. Now I'm gonna put on some foundation. This Y-O means yellow and then the lightest. My base color is usually R, which means red, and then one, which is the second lightest, because I have a red undertone, I think, I guess. I don't know, it's what they told me to use. And then I use R2 for like a darker color. Putting this in the highlighter. Now I don't put on too much. This is just basically a beauty balm. I basically round out this hard ridge with the highlight color, like that. Round it out, round that shit out. 
So I'm going straight over the line that I made under it with the, the color. I make that, I do that right there because um, for some reason I think my chin should be even bigger than it is. I don't know. Okay, now we're gonna do a different color. We're gonna do R1. Painting this beige rainbow right there, second color of the rainbow. You could also put her right here because she's also kind of the foundation-y color. Yeah, I'm gonna paint myself darker because I, I like tans on my legs but not on my face. See, this is my real color. This color, like, that matches my neck and shit. Now I'm gonna go darker because that's what I wanna be. Ah, yeah, tan. Uh-huh. I need a bigger brush. You're gonna wanna move your face around a lot when you do it. Hey, you gotta get a little cracked. Is that cracked by your nose? You know where it gets all crusty? Right there? You wanna get up in that shit. You just paint your neck that color. Now you can see the difference in the color now that I changed the light. But now I can't fucking see, so hold on. Second color, no, third color of the beige rainbow is coming at you right now. Beige rainbow. Right there, beige rainbow. Oh. We're back to Lupita now. Lupita's Miss Good Contour. Use that brush, dip her in that bitch. And then we're gonna turn my face the color of mud, honey. This is the one, two, three, fourth color of the beige rainbow. I have more structure in my cheekbones than some of you have in your whole lives. And uh, so I only do a little bit right here. I'm gonna do there. And then I use the same brush because it's already dirty and shit. And then I go like this. And that's my nose contour because it's round anyway, so it kind of softens and diffuses the line, it's not like a hard, I never do that, like that. Probably did it too much now, but that's your fault. See, so that beige rainbow, you see those colors gradiating and shit? That's science. I'm gonna do a little bit here too, because front on, it makes your chin look smaller. If you take pictures front on, and this is darker, it just recedes it a little. Oh, this thing, you're gonna wanna go under there too, just to bring that nose tip up. Shove more on there because I'm gonna be in drag next to Raven tonight, so I gotta fucking go in a little. Girl, I'm wearing this until 11 p.m. tonight. I'm gonna be Jack. I'm gonna be in Jack in the Box or jacking some cocks with my mouth. There you go. I'm trying to do all the spots it's going at. Cool. Here's where I spray. That kind of just. I'm using it as like a, a thing to buff everything together with. Just blending, I'm blending out the rainbow a little. Like a Josephine Baker Jolie sandwich pit. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Shake that bitch. And then you're gonna take your puff and beat it. Beat that bitch with a puffer. Beat in that cream a little bit. Okay, I think I hit the man pretty good. Now you can do some different shit. <clears throat> now I have my base on. I have my contour on. Ooh, I'm going to reinforce the cream colors with a powder. I use this luxury brand called Ben Nye. This is Bill Nye's brother, the <laughs> faggot, Ben Nye. I wonder if they are related. Dude, that's uneven, but boom, boom, bang. Now I'm going to take the darker contour color. It's called, ooh, Moroccan Sands. And I'm gonna hit it on my beige rainbow on the top. Then you're gonna hit it on the boop. And you should blend that if that happens. Really blend it into your hair and make your hair look fucking filthy too. And then whatever residue's left, I do the same thing with the brush because this is a rounded brush so when you guide it along something flat and it'll knock off the powder where it shouldn't hit anymore. See, look, ready? See? I don't know if you saw, but I don't care. See how that perfect button nose was formed like that? and like that, and I didn't have to draw a straight line across it. I'm gonna dip into this color a little. It's like a mineral-y color. You're gonna wanna um, lick your fucking brush, I don't know. Just a little bit under there. So I'm taking this glitter now. What I like to do is mix, I like to take a little bit of this holographic glitter, pour it in there, boom, boom, boom. Then I like to take a little bit of this OCC, like beige pink glitter, pour it in there. Then I like to take some of these, uh, like big old paillette things, and then put them in there too. Cause mixing up all the glitters like gives it like more distractions from seeing the man underneath. It's like, oh shiny, yay. And then I use like this base. It's like a glitter gel glue and whatever color I'm doing, which is I'm doing like a pinky beige. 
when you put it like all on the lid, you only see it when you blink. I want to see the fucking glitter. I'm a clown. I want to see it. So I'm going to put this gel shit right there. Cover up all that nice work that I did. And then dip my finger in the little, dip my finger in that shit. And then go boop, 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 boop. And then I take my finger and just put it everywhere else too. Okay, I put on a little too much. But the good thing is, I have more makeup. So you're gonna to wanna to reinforce that black line again. Get back up into your good homegirl Lupita again, maybe. And dab her out a little. There. Mm -hmm. Like that. Now she boom. See, okay, so that's that eye with no, no glitter. That's that eye with glitter and a little boom. That's what guys want, Mary Ow. See, all those different weights of glitter, it's pretty in different colors and shit. Hello. Okay, now I am going to put a little spot of glitter on the inside. It's right there. Oh, I shoved that right in my fucking tear duct. I kept that light and bright and open, put a little there. Now I'm gonna do this black liner. Always do which eye you're better at, first or second. I create my eyeliner from the bottom of my lower lid, and then I swoop it up. Okay, we can shoot this one now. Um, draw eyebrow. It's like this good blonde with like good red undertones for um, blonde, lighter people who, aren't, who don't want to use a light brown. I use the top of my natural brow as the bottom of my fake brow and then brush the hair over to make it look like it's growing. Like, see how that hair grows like that? What I do is I brush it up so it's actually even taller. And then we created the new highlight above where the eyebrow naturally ends right here. So the tail is gonna go over that even more. If you don't like what you did, just use more of the light color. These brows aren't even a little related. She's almost coming to the gig. This dusting will dust away anything that's fallen from doing my eyes like the glitter. All the light is concentrated in the center area around that eyes. A little bit on your chin. Don't forget to wipe that off because I always forget. Then I use some powder from a dirty Ziploc because it broke and I stick my whole fucking brush in there. This is translucent even though it looks white. And I just feel it around here. A little translucent to set it. And a little, little up there. I got some black liquid liner in there. You gotta clean that shit out so you don't get eye boogies later, which look like fucking uncrustable remnants. And you wanna get all that shit out. See all that black? You don't need that in there. <clears throat> gonna wanna sharpen your white in between and put it on the water line towards the center. Don't get all fucking Bianca Del Rio about it. Or Pearl. This is a natural look. Inner strength. Beauty. Character. Boom. So what I do is I take the lash, get it really deep into the into the lash line, and then swipe out. You want to get it at the base. That's where you're looking to build. And you have to let it dry in between coats. So give it a second, put it on, and get in there with that. Like, boom. Don't be afraid to screw up your eye makeup. It's fine. You're putting more shit on. Get the fuck in there with that wand, like that, and sweep it out. See, this is usually what I shove on my face. It's already formed. It's like three, four pairs of lashes, all glued, spermicided together with stuff. I'm gonna show you how to build this. First, I'm gonna take this bitch. You wanna measure it out because your eyes probably don't need all of this. That's how I based it on. Now, if you open your eye and it hits in here, you have too much lash on on the interior. You don't have the room. Get a different fucking lash. I like to put my glue on like the top of my foundation thing and then just run your lash through the dot of glue that you made. Put some hot air on that. I like to take a tweezer and squeeze the lash into the still wet mascara lash a little with the fake to really bond them together. Pinch that shit together. Pinch that bitch. Can you see that where my eyelid glued together a little bit? So you put on more mascara just to blend that first pair of fakes with the next pair. Another pair of lashes. These are this kind. This is the point where you graduate them out. Actually, that's gonna be my bottom lash. That's fierce down there. Okay, then take another pair. This is like for just thickness. It looks thicker in the middle because I cut off the end and then slapped it in the middle because I wanted that depth and the darkness in the middle and I don't want it too heavy on the outside corner right here down there because then you get that like downward Britney eye where she's like, hmm, sometimes I run. And you're gonna place it from like the, the middle third out to there. And this second pair, the end doesn't get glued to the lash line, it gets glued to the near the crease. We're, I'm basically building like a cat eye shape. For length, I'm gonna take half one of those, so 111, and I'm gonna cut it in half right there. Boom. I'm gonna put it like right here. Just 
give a little, no, like that, but kind of. Okay, that's the top lashes, done. Using those as bottom lash, they were gonna be top, but you know how tops turn into bottoms. I like to use tweezers for my bottom lashes to really get up under there. Oh, fuck, I already put the blue on this, but you need to put on mascara on your bottoms before you put on bottom lashes, too. I have no glitter underneath this eye, oh well. There's zero glitter, tons of glitter. Zero glitter, tons of glitter. Okay, so I put the glue on there. What you do with bottom lashes, you take, you put it in the base of the lash, and then you twirl it up and out. And that's how you get lash on it without it getting all spiky and crustabled. Then you hope the glue's not dry and try to stick it to your fucking face. So you put it under the lash. Or um, watch a Trixie tutorial and glue it to your fucking cheek. Bottom lash, I'm trying to find the good angle to make it look pretty and it's not working. Oh, from up there, yeah. Bottom lash over here, no lash over here. You're gonna wanna clean off your lips after yeah. powdering it around it because I don't put lip shit on top of other shit because it makes it move more. They're like, put a foundation on and sugar scrub it and bullshit. Yeah, do that, but you don't need foundation or moisturizer on your lips when you're trying to put on a product that you want to stay in one spot. Bye. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh -huh -huh. Um, now I am doing something else. Lips or cheeks. What should I do first, cheeks? Cheeks. I'm just gonna put a little bit of cream, smile, and remember to stretch your face out so you can see where you're really gonna go. Just on the apples. Put that color, deposit it, and then you're gonna blend it out. And just move that around and base it out because it's kind of like a dry brush thing, like those old crafty ladies do. Like, you're gonna wanna dry brush this bench for a rustic, shabby chic feeling. Rustic, that's a horrible word. Your genitals are so rustic. So I just blended that out a little more. You don't wanna get it into your contour because then it just looks like a puddle of fuck. Um, if you don't have a cheekbone, just draw it from your corner of your mouth up. That's what Sharon told me. Then I have this Scott Barnes blush. It was a sample and it broke. There were three colors. So I just kind of do this. Thank you, Scott. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this on the shimmer part. This part where I want it to pop. Pop shimmer. If you work very quickly, it makes up for lack of precision. Yeah, crystal. There you go. Okay, all we're doing left is lips. And that's what happens when your gum falls out. Oh, that's a trick. I'm gonna do a natural lip. Can you see how one bottom lash is glued to the top? Because that's glue. If you get glue on your shit, you need to get the glue off or else it'll keep sticking every time you blink. I like to line my lip down onto my chin too. Just put it low, because your lip curls over and they can't see it anyway. But the problem is when you draw it that low, it gets into like the stubble that you shave off. So you have to resharpen it um, because otherwise your line will be chunky. I am so glad I'm shooting this book now and not when I'm 34. All right, now I'm gonna do another color, Lydia. Right, and this I'm just putting on the outer to make give it depth. See, just a little difference. I'm using my new favorite color, Robo Hoochie. It's a metallic version of my favorite color, Hoochie. And I do this because, uh, you know when you're at the club and you're like, oh, and you're like, oh, there's a lip gloss line right there from where I pulled my hair out my lip. You wear a liquid lipstick, which has a metallic finish, which gives you that glossy look without the, the um, sticky dick texture but it doesn't have the metallic finish. So I'm gonna take this, which is the Lip Tar Metallic in Hollywood, which is like a nude color for me. So dot, 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 boom, boom, bang. Uh, 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 dun, uh, 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 put some lipstick on, it helps. Okay, the lip is done. She needs her wig. Give the pig her wig. This is what I look like without retouching in four and a half hours, and four professionals on my payroll. None with health care. Bye, all done! This is what I look like without retouching. Oh, fuck, I look like a dude. Yeah, nice and blown out. I don't know, just buy the book. Yeah.